So what I do is I grab the pick and I hit strings five and four with the edge of the pick on a perpendicular angle and just try to hit them fast and hard. I just wanted to clarify that that's the way I uh, interpret the noise in the album. I really have no clue what Kirk is doing. Um, and again, that's just the way I hear it and I try to copy it. So another question that I answer a lot is how to achieve the tone on Death Magnetic. Uh, as you know, I use Line 6 products. This is the gearbox interface for the guitar port. I've selected the Line 6 Final Pop at Amp, 4x12 2001 Line 6 cap. Those are the settings for the amp, and notice how the drive is actually pulled back. Um, the stomp box, I've selected the Screamer, drive at 36, gain at 35, and tone at 69. And again, remember this is just what works for me. If you have a guitar with active pickups, you might want to change this. All my guitars have passive pickups. The mic is on 57 off axis. I always help out the amp with a little bit more EQ to help on the bass and the mids. And finally, I have the um, chorus delay and reverb on. And that's just the way I like to hear things. I like to give the tone a little bit more space. And finally, you'll see that I have the gate on to reduce the noise of the amp. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have more questions, let me know. Uh, but I've also detailed this on myspace.com slash Francisco Meza 11. Finally, the track that you hear in the background is from my album, which is already available in iTunes. It's called Innocence of Insanity. It's also available in Amazon and through me directly. Email me if you have any questions. Check out the annotation below for the promo video. And thank you so much for everything. Take care.